Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. Um, this one's just to show you um, what I made this morning. Um, I probably have shown this one before. I had taken some composition books and I've been collecting a whole mess of recipes and I just didn't know where to put them so I just took a composition book, got some of the Lady Mademoiselle paper from DCWV and I made a cover. Um, I just did the cover of it and then I did the the recipes part and then I used the tab punch to make one for main course and one for dessert. So I already had done that one and I had already done this one for Copic coloring for skin and hair combinations that I had done and then I wanted to make another one for my bills because <clears throat> What I've always done is that I've always had like a place where I can have like all the websites that I go to and all my passwords together. And that way, if anything happens, somebody can have access to my bills in case I'm not at home and I have to have my husband do it or something like that. So I've always had that. And then I've always had like this little like running. Let me just try to cover my bills. Um, like a little running tab thing where it shows you know what the bill is and when I paid it for that month so I originally had it and it didn't have the little tabs but I really wanted the little tabs because it makes it easier than trying to just flip through all the different pages um, to try to find the bill that I'm gonna pay so um, I went ahead and I started to use up some of the supplies that I've had forever and I just don't ever use so the paper is the lady couture paper and I've had it forever and I just use it very rarely because since I have boys it's very rare to use so I need to use up my paper pads and like I have a lot of this already used up so I think that I did pretty well so I want to make sure that you know it goes more or less with the rest of the stuff and this way I can make it the cover look pretty so I did the cover and I did the back to this one um, then what I used is I had gotten these post-it things and we all have like a million of these post-it things I have so many of them but I'd like never use them so I went ahead and I started to use this post-it and I put it on each one of these and then I had some of these stickers and they're the alphabet and I've never used them because they're all capital letters and I've never had any need to use anything like that. So I said, let me go ahead and make those. So I put them on each one. So then what I did was that I put the little post-it back in front and then I took paper, um, tape, and I put tape on top of each one and just rolled it over. So that way the, the post-it itself is going to stay and also the letters are going to fall off. So this was, I had originally used it for all of my other, um, all my other bills that I had done before, but they weren't in alphabetical order or anything. And um, so I had to have some paper taken out. So I cut out that paper. And then once I cut it out, I just divided it by how many papers I had left and all the letters of the alphabet. Now, of course, I know that some of them are not going to be used because I don't have anything for that particular letter. However, I figured that at least this way, it looks more organized to me. Um, and now, like, I have a Target card. And my husband has a Target card. And instead of using one paper for each, I'll use, you know, the top half for one of us and the bottom half for the other one of us. And then we can keep track on the side, like, like when it was paid for that month all the way across so anyway that's what I did real quick this morning just wanted to go ahead and share since I know that everybody is like organizing and wanting to get everything um, done in the house and whatever I figured I would share my quick little project using some of my old materials lying around the house and that I didn't have to go out and buy you know like the Martha Stewart tabs which is what I wish I would have had but since I didn't have any of those, I made my own. So anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.